Well, this morning with our candles burning bright by the altar, I'm going to stay here for the children's sermon. Uh, and we have some great kids in our gathering this morning in person, which is so nice. So we're coming up with this season, getting ready for Easter, and it's called Lent. And it's these 40 days, and in these 40 days, we're supposed to be getting our hearts ready to celebrate Jesus risen from the dead. And one of the things we do during Lent, well, they're called spiritual disciplines. And I think a lot of times, grown-ups and kids, when we think of the word discipline, we think it means punishment. That's what we kind of think, oh, someone got disciplined. That means they got punished. But the, the word actually means like practice, a spiritual practice. And I was thinking of ways that we have to practice. And in a few moments, we're going to hear and see someone playing piano that has practiced a lot. Now, I'm going to tell you just a short story about when I started to play the cello in fifth grade. I was an awful cello player. Really, really awful. But I'm going to tell you, this was not a surprise. I hated to practice. What I would do is, okay, I had to practice. Anybody here practice an instrument? Have you ever had to practice like a half an hour a day? Has anyone ever told you that you had to practice half an hour a day? Okay, here's what I did. And I'm not recommending this because it turned out I was a terrible cello player. I would divide my practice into two 15-minute sessions. I would set the time, and this is a true story, confession at the beginning of life. I would set the timer in the kitchen for 15 minutes. Then I would have to go into the living room and get my cello out. (laughs) Then you would have to tune it, get ready. Uh, uh, uh. That is exactly how I sounded. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, the timer went off. (laughs) And I would go back into the kitchen. This is absolutely true how I practiced. I hated it, and I was horrible at it, and I never practiced. And one time I went to my lesson, and wait to hear what happened there. The bridge to my cello fell off. And my, my cello teacher said to me, if you ever practice, this wouldn't happen. <laughs> right? So what do we know from this? You don't get good at things unless you practice, right? So we know that about reading. We know that about spelling. We know that about musical instruments. We know that about soccer or swimming or running. You get good from practice. So during this season of Lent, right, those days that lead up to Easter, we're supposed to be practicing being more like Jesus. Hmm. Because sometimes, because we're humans, it really doesn't come, come that easily to us. So how we practice, we sometimes we pray more. You know, we remember to say our prayers more. Sometimes we make a decision that we're going to be extra special kind to someone. Ugh, maybe even someone we don't really, really like. Maybe it's somebody in school or on your team or even in your family. So that during Lent, we practice being kind. So that'll be our work together. And it is work. But remember, when, I, when we use the word discipline, a spiritual discipline or a Lenten discipline, it means a practice. So we are going to practice being like Jesus. So now I told you we have someone here on our, who is videoed in for us, someone who has practiced way more than a half an hour. Uh, So I'm going to ask you to turn your eyes and your ears to Nicholas Farley Jackson as he brings us a wonderful piano piece for this morning. (laughs) 